Hi, my name is Dr. Olivares. I'm a part of the Campbell Health Center team. I coordinate our rehab services here at the clinic. I'm an associate chiropractor here. So today I'm going to talk to you about Dr. Sian An's creation. It's our wonderful Neurolux Light, and it actually just recently received uh, FDA clearance for medical device and treatment for neuropathy. Um, we do use it off-label for other conditions such as knee pain, back pain, um, pretty much anything. Um, so I'm going to go over some different parts of the light and then I'll show you how to apply it. So in your box you're going to receive the light itself which looks like this. The white squares are the lights. This is the back of the light, okay? And then You'll have two Velcro straps that come with the light to hold it together. You'll also have a remote. And you'll also have two different ways that you can plug the cord in. So you'll have one that's a USB port that can go into an iPhone charger or a computer, which is really great if you need to take it to work or travel with it. And one that's just a regular wall mount plug. Hi guys, I'm going to demonstrate how to use your Neurolux red light therapy device. I'm actually demonstrating on the creator herself, Dr. Suyan An. So I'm going to be demonstrating how to place the Neurolux device on your feet for a neuropathy patient or, you know, maybe ankle pain or foot pain, okay? So once you have it plugged into the wall, I'm plugged into the wall here. I have my remote plugged in here and plugged into the light. I have my Velcro straps attached to make it easy for whenever I wrap it onto her, all I have to do is attach the Velcro. I'm going to start at the toes, wrap around, covering as much of the foot as possible, and then attaching this way. You want to make sure the light is snug, but it doesn't have to be cinched super tight, okay? This light gets pretty warm, so you want to reduce the potential of burning yourself if the lights are directly on your skin for a long period of time. So I can just tighten that one up just a little bit. So once we've covered most of the foot, we're going to go to the remote. To turn the Neurolux light on, we're going to start by pressing the power button. When the power is on and the light is on, there will be a little light that comes up on the top of your remote. Then from there, you can press R, which stands for red light. If you notice, red lights turn on inside of the, the light here, inside of the shell. That means that the light's on. Now, you can leave it here and it'll stay on constant, but for most patients, they're in a time constraint, so they need a timer. So we've developed on the light here a timer for 10, 20, or 30 minutes. So if I press the one Roman numeral, it'll time it for 10 minutes, two for 20 minutes, three for 30 minutes. And then there's also a great feature where I can turn on a heating device. If I press the Celsius button, it will change the heat to low, medium, or high. And it'll give you a therapeutic warmth to kind of help improve circulation and bring better blood flow to the area. Now, if this light feels too warm for you, there's a second option for you where you can press P and the lights will flash and no longer be constant. To turn it off, just press the power again and the light goes off. If you keep your boot in this position, it makes it easy to lift off and transition to the other foot like so. And we can repeat the process on your other foot.